Well, happening today, I call it perfect timing. It is National Weather Persons Day. I want to celebrate by giving a shout out to our entire weather team here at 4029. It's been quite a week for Darby, Martin, and Robert. And thanks, guys, of course, for keeping us safe and updated this week and throughout the year. Now, with that, Robert Sir joins us again. I'll give him a little applause, just a oh, golf wow. clap for you know, uh, all his efforts uh, you were, this week. You were talking about that. I, could, I couldn't tell if you said our tired weather team or our entire weather <laughs> team know, because both, both apply. Fits. Yes. Right. Both exactly. definitely apply. It has been a very busy week, but things are finally starting to quiet down. Mm. And we actually have a very nice week ahead of us out there with plenty of sunshine and warming temperatures. You'll see that in the seven day. But first, here's a look at that impact from the storm. Look at the amount of coverage across the country. If you go from uh, Texas and New Mexico all the way up through our area and into the uh, Midwest, the Great Lakes, and all the way up into New England here, and even our area, we have some impressive snow depth, uh, even for this area. So a general two inches as you work your way north, you can see six to nine inches across uh, Washington County and Benton County in a very small area, probably toward Bella Vista, a small pocket of potentially eight to 15 inches on the ground, probably closer to the eight, nine or 10 inches than the 15. But we don't see these uh, colors very often in this area. So here's a live look outside to Fayetteville. You can see I-49 nice and smooth, but this is what we're talking about, folks. The side roads, see the wetness here? That will freeze uh, as uh, temperatures continue to drop. So we're definitely worried about those slick spots. Nice and quiet in Rogers, a gorgeous sunset is underway. More wetness here in Springdale. Uh, that will refreeze once temperatures plunge into the 20s and teens tonight and still some snow on the ground in the Poto area high atop Cavanaugh Hill. Temperatures right now across northwest Arkansas still above freezing, but they'll drop off pretty quickly here over the next uh, couple of hours and in the River Valley, mostly in the 40s out there, helping to melt a lot of that ice that accumulated over the past couple of days. High pressure building in today. That'll be the dominant feature over the next couple of days as we take you hour by hour. Here. By the time uh, you wake up tomorrow morning, we're in the uh, teens and 20s out there with clear skies. We'll have a very, very weak, non-impactful front across the area. May touch off a cloud or two, but it really won't do anything for temperatures. And then waking up Monday morning, we're back up into the mid to upper 20s. But lows tonight, you can see here teens. That's why we're so concerned about that refreezing on the roads tonight. Warming back up a little bit warmer tomorrow than we were today, mid to upper 40s out there. And we keep warming up into the 50s by the time we get to Tuesday, even mid 50s by Wednesday. And we stay right around seasonal averages for this time of the year. A couple of days will be breezy, but those winds will actually help to eat away the snow. Uh, if, you, if you want the snow to go away quicker, there's a look at the River Valley forecast. You can see they're flirting with 60 by the time we get to next Friday. Stay with us. Jordan Black will check on the world of sports right after the break.